Okay, my name is Isra Haidar. I'm 24 years old. Um, I'm from the south of Lebanon. I was born and raised until I was nine years old uh, in Texas. So basically, I'm a cowgirl. Um, and uh, then we moved back here to Lebanon um, because my parents wanted us to grow up as, um, as religious Muslims. I studied marketing at AUB and then I got my MBA and I have a marketing consultancy company here in Lebanon and uh, that's me in one minute. Really, I was brought up in a very uh, happy, healthy, beautiful environment where I really felt loved. Um, not only by my parents, but like most of my friends were, were Americans. and. I guess it was really interesting and I, I didn't realize the effect that it had on my upbringing until I came here to Lebanon and I started to see the difference and as I grew uh, more and more I realized um, the effect of growing up in, in the United States, the positive effect that it had on my life in terms of the way of thinking and dealing with people and I, it's a cultural experience for me. I remember feeling like an outcast here in Lebanon because when I came, uh, we were placed in an Islamic school and my English was very uh, American and in my community, you're immediately labeled as someone who's, oh look, she came from America, she's such a show off or um, she thinks that she's better than us simply because she speaks better English and I was like, I was the English teacher's uh, favorite because I was really well in English, but I was even from the teachers from the other um, subjects, I felt like I was an outcast and in the playground, like for one year, I would be all alone simply because I simply sp spoke differently and my Arabic was a bit funny. So I never felt that in America, which is quite interesting. I only felt it when I came here and I was, I was part of my community. I look like them, I dress like them, I eat like them. And just because I, I had this weird accent, they were like, oh, she's from America. And so, and I remember that. It really, it really stayed with me for a very long time. And it took me a lot of, it took me a lot of work and a lot of effort to prove. And I was, I was nine or 10 years old. So you're, you're not very mature at that age. And it took me a lot of effort to actually prove to them that, hey, you know, I'm just like you. I'm, and you could, you could actually learn from me. And, and it was only until like one of my friends, after a year, she came, she, so, she came to me and she was like, so what's America like? I was like, finally, somebody's like asking me where I come from and they can, you know? A lot of people tell me, oh, so you're American or are you Lebanese? I usually answer by saying I'm Lebanese and I truly feel that I'm Lebanese. Um, I do feel that I owe America something. I do feel that I owe it uh, the education, the, the lifestyle, the, the way of thinking, the mentality. And I don't associate myself as a pure American or a pure Lebanese. I simply say I'm a Lebanese who was born and raised in America for nine years. Um, it's really, really hard in identifying yourself, like your true identity, and it's an issue that we have to deal with constantly. Because if you go to the village, people label you, oh, look, that there comes the American, you know? And then you're trying to look, no, I'm, I'm part of this community. And then you go back to America, and they're like, oh, here comes the Arab. So you you already have two, two parties who are questioning your identity. And so I never questioned my identity. I was born and raised as a Lebanese who was simply brought up in America.